Glad to have you with us today. And today I'm going to talk about, we're going to talk about how Larry Elder, who was on the Breakfast Club, just wrecked Charlemagne the God. Now, those of you guys who don't know what Sh- who Charlemagne the God, he's the host of one of the most syndicated um, black podcast show um, on BET and all the other radio um, stations. Um, it's called The Breakfast Club. And in this particular episode, The Breakfast Club, which I'll probably do more talk bites against, um, probably breaking out because, and I implore you guys to watch the um, whole episodes by hour alone. But we're going to try to break it down, at least the most popular one that's going around the Internet now. So do you guys remember um, when Charlemagne um, at then um, um, president candidate Joe Biden was on his show and he made that famous thing saying, well, if you got to think between me or Trump, you ain't black. Well, finally, finally, someone addresses it. And Larry Etta puts Charlemagne the guy in his place. You know, now I'm not a big fan of the Breakfast Club. Um, at all because the stuff that they say they syndicate it just seems like it's, they say so much stuff that's against my own people and I just don't like it but anyway we're going to go ahead and play the clip and we're going to go ahead and go over it I'm going to stop the clip every now and then and I'll give further context to it. so let's go ahead and get into it have you ever heard of the term a nigga wake up call no it is an incident where a person of color forgets that they are of color and are reminded rather brutally by an unexpected act of racism. Oh, Have you brother. ever had any of those? Oh, brother. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. You think you've ever well, had Well, I'm, I'm acutely aware. Oh, boy. He's laughing. He's just asking. And watch Larry p- takes him to school. Air Charlemagne, that I'm a black person, just as you are a black person. And when uh, Joe Biden insulted you by saying, mm-hmm. you ain't really black, we don't know whether or not you want to vote for me or vote for Donald Trump, uh, it seems to me that should have been a wake-up call on your part. Bingo. That's why I just can't understand. Since this, since since that day, I never ever respected Charlemagne the God like ever again, because it makes no sense. You're gonna go ahead and challenge, and you see, here's the thing, Larry Elder. Just a little background. Larry Elder is a black conservative, right? And you know, since he's black and he's conservative, he already got two strikes against him. So the left, aka the Democrats, um, they don't like him. And you can see because he's a black man that's conservative, they are going to attack him. But he fails to note that he's Larry Elder. He now, like I said, I'm not no Larry Elder fan um, as at all, as, you know. But he puts him in his play because some of the stuff I disagree with Larry. But on this part, he does 100 percent right. So let's continue. Here's this guy come in here and insult you, a black man, and tell you you got to think a certain kind of way. I'm amazed that you weren't mad about that. Uh. And and AKA he wasn't mad. He wasn't mad. If you go back to the original clip, of um, and you could just do a simple YouTube Google search about the interview with Joe, um, President Candidate then Joe Biden. John Manny didn't check him. He wasn't mad. He just let it slide. Let's continue. Um, I didn't. I'm not gonna say that it upset me. Just like I'm not letting you upset me. You know. Oh, he's upset. He's upset because you look at his face right now. He know he's about. He just got checkmate. Because there's no action in the world to justify why Charlemagne did not push back on Joe Biden. If it was me, I would have snapped back. I said, hold up, hold up. Hold. First of all, Mr. Biden, I find it insulting that you're going to come up to a black, a syndicated black show, right? A syndicated, very famous syndicated black show. And you're going to come up here, which most of my audience are black. You're going to come up and tell me that because I didn't vote for, if I don't vote for you, I ain't black. This, the secret message is if you don't vote Democrat, you ain't black. It's insulting. I would have fired back. And Biden wouldn't have ever, um, just wouldn't be able to come back for But unfortunately, he's our president. Let's continue. I don't tend to get upset over things like well, that. But what I did say well, well you just not talk about, about a nigger wake-up call, and it seemed to me that that should have been a wake-up call on your part to have a white guy come in here who also said, by the way, uh, uh, about Mitt Romney. Um, uh, exactly. You're going to let... A white guy come up here and tell you that, oh, you ain't black because you don't vote for the Democrat Party. You don't do that. I mean, it's insulting. It really is. Uh, because he didn't want to put more regulations on Wall Street, going to put y'all back in chains. And Joe Biden has lied. And he did say that. You go on YouTube and look at it. I remember that. That was the second race today. And, let me, and, and, um, and for the record, I did not vote for Joe Biden. I knew about his stuff way before. I wasn't going to vote for no Joe Biden. But now... But now it's just in the open air how he, how he really is. But I already knew. 
Even Obama didn't like him. Don't believe me? Go look at the past clips. Go on C-SPAN and look at some of the interactions between him and, and Obama. Obama definitely was a no-Biden fan. For decades about his civil rights record, claiming that he desegregated movie theaters and restaurants in, in Wilmington, Delaware, when he didn't, any, didn't do any of that. He lied and said that he tried to visit Nelson Mandela during apartheid South Africa. He did not. And he came in here and told you you aren't even black and let you think a certain kind of way. It seemed to me that should have been a nigga wake-up call for you, but it wasn't, apparently. Yeah, I mean, you know, for the record, I'm not a Democrat or Republican. See, and this is the fallacy of the black Democrats. This is what he said. He said, she heard Sean Mulaney was going to say, he said, well, I, I'm not either part. No, but you, but you see, he is a Democrat. He ain't, he ain't not going to tell you. Don't let this fool you, folks. He is a Democrat. He would vote Democrat. I bet he voted for Joe Biden if you asked him. The problem is, is that, um, the problem is that, um, the, the, um, like, People like him is a Democrat shield. You're not about Democrat shield for my people. And our people vote um, 80 to 90% of the time Democrat and we get nothing in return. Unbelievable. And I'm not saying you go to vote for the GOP. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we don't have to vote Democrat and we shouldn't. I, I, I didn't say I, you were. Yeah, I, think both I don't know what trash. you are. I, I never yeah. even He's, Then he's going to say both parties are trash. If they're trash, then why didn't you call out Joe Biden? You defend. This is why the Democrats always get over on. But they know it's like a playbook. They know how black people are. Unbelievable. About your party affiliation. Yeah, I'm just saying. You, but you are black. Absolutely. And and to have a white guy come in here and tell you you have to say uh, think a certain kind of way, otherwise you quote ain't black. Wow. How should I have replied to him? You think? Well, I mean, how you what? See, this is why. This is why I call Charlemagne a weak man, a weak black man. He weak. He making us black men look bad. What me? How should I respond? Like Larry, he just explained to you how he sh you should have responded. You should have called. You should have told Joe Biden that it's insulting that you, as a white person, gonna come on to my show, a syndicated black show, right, and so all my black audience like that. You are gonna tell me that if I don't think a certain way, I ain't black. Insulting. And then Charlemagne gonna have something to say. Well, hi, Charles. But we mean yeah, that shouldn't even be a question. I I know. I need to calm down, folks. I'm just getting real passionate a little bit. I'll, Charlemagne is a weak black man Very weak What I just now said How dare you insult me And tell me I, I think as, as a human being Let alone as a black person I don't tell you how to think Joe Biden How dare you come in here And tell me how, to, how I, I, I should think I'm going to vote for Donald Trump If I want to vote for Donald Trump And, and if I want to vote for Donald Trump It does not make me not black 20% of black people Black men as I said Voted for Donald Trump in 2020 Are they not black now? So only 80% Good question So for those of you guys Who are listening to the talk bite that's a good question so and i and i heard this before too even with within my own family so those 20 and it's true the statistics show that about approximately 20 percent he had 20 percent 20 percent black people did vote for um um uh, for donald trump now the question is is that since he didn't since those 20 percent didn't vote democrat as um racist joe biden just said um you ain't black does that mean that 20% of black people are not black because they didn't vote Democrat? And yet, and yet he won. He's our president. He won. He won. This is just a testament that uh, we support our own oppression. I'm just going to say it. We support our own oppression. It's ridiculous. Black people, black men walking around are really black, 20% or not, because they voted for Donald Trump. How insulting is that? How condescending is that? Mm. I, I mean... You're probably right, but I didn't take it in that way. Wait, 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 wait. See, did you, folks, did you just hear that? He said you're probably right, but I didn't think that way. What do you mean? This is why, this folks, folks, listen to me, and especially my black, my black, my my black people. I'm just letting y'all know, right there, right there. That's a Democrat shield for you. He didn't think he thought that way. That's why he was able to go up there and assault that racist Joe Biden, and he's the president. And this is why I say we support our own oppression because. Joe Biden would have been up, but been the president without the black vote. It is, it is a fact. He needs the black vote, and this is the reason why Democrats are able to win all the time. Now, I vote you guys said. Did I say vote for GOP? I didn't say that. I just say you should have just maybe sat it out or do a protest vote. Joe Biden shouldn't have become president because of how he just insulted black people on a nationally syndicated black show. Now you got this weak black man, Charlemagne. He he should be, he got he got some gall to talk about oh uh, in moment and stuff like that when you not even a, you're not you're a weak black man that's insulting 
Well, I remember when me and my dad was watching that, our mouth dropped to the floor. We turned off the TV. It's insulting to black men and, and people like Charlemagne. And he's nothing but a Democrat undercover shield. Gonna say, oh, well, I didn't think like that. What do you mean? That should have been quick like that. If Donald Trump, if the if the roles were reversed, guy, if Donald Trump said that on that, it would have been nothing. And I guarantee you Charlemagne would have checked Donald Trump if he said that. I guarantee you. But because Joe Biden is a Democrat, he didn't get checked. We, again, we support our own oppressions. I did. As I said to him in that moment, you know, it's just about me wanting something for my people and I want to know what is he going to do for my people and not only what do you mean what do you mean what are you going to do to people that you should have checked them at that point it was should Charlemagne should have said interview is over I know that now um since we have to think a certain way and we ain't black you're 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 discussing our characteristics saying that we're not black you 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 don't have the black vote no longer there's no point to show you what you're going to do for us there's no point because you just insult us interview over cut my people now how are you going to atone for the things you've done to my people right that's it right and this is a guy uh joe biden who when he first got into the senate hung out with segregationists talked about how well he, how well he got along and he did he did joe biden got along and hung with segregation now i don't want to hear the fact that oh we had a shake him to make deal but the problem is is that joe biden um joe biden um performed a eulogy at his funeral a eulogy and the same segregation, I forgot his name, top of my head, top of my tongue, but I forgot. But I don't to take a Google search to find out. Um, he went ahead, even on a scene interview, he called white people who are sympathetic to black people or, you know, white people who are pretty much not really racist or anything. Like they just treat black people. It's the same. They call them, they call them white N-word. That's what he said. That guy, Robert Byrd, that's his name. I just remembered. Robert Byrd. Go check him out. Um. Uh, talked about how he didn't want integration because of a jungle. Uh, this guy has made all sorts of insulting things. To and that jungle was because of the 1994 crime bill, Joe Biden signed, which put a lot of my, a lot of my people, a lot of black people, charged for nonviolent crime into jail. Democrats. People and his policies right now are hurting black people. Inflation hurts the people at the bottom more than anything else. He's right. Inflation hurts everybody, especially people at the bottom. People who are in poverty and stuff like that. Bad policy. Bad policy can affect everybody, including black people. A bunch of illegal aliens under into the border are hurting black people more than anybody else, as I said earlier. He supports uh, opposes uh, school choice when he has his own kids in private school. That's the ironcy, right? See, black people, see, our community, the black community, we need school choice because there are a lot of schools out there that are failing. They fail to educate. You got wrong teachers. You got that teachers union. You got all this stuff going around. While they fix that out, which the Department of Education, it's going to take a long time. They said this a couple of years ago. It's going to take, um, it's not going to just be a quick fix just like that. So why they fix that, especially black kids, um, they should have school choice. But Joe Biden doesn't believe in school choice because his kids are in private school. Again, Joe Biden don't care about black people. We lost a year, almost two years of in-school education in California because of COVID that he supported. I mean, yep. And you know how I feel about that, about that COVID. Two years shutting down and the government choosing winners and losers. It's a shame. And, and then if you're not essential, your business is shut down. The only people who are there left were Walmart, Target, a big corporate, which they lobby with these people. Unbelievable. I has done monstrous things to black people and then for him to come in here and tell you how you ought to think as a black person it blew my mind as a person objectively who doesn't care about either party all right hands there and i'm gonna say this charlamagne if you're listening to this or you share whatever uh you're a weak black man you weak and you're gonna say well it doesn't matter about other party it's a person why you keep saying i was a person no part sure okay you may not be registered as a democrat but show as heck you you are a democrat you don't have to be registered but i guarantee you voted for joe biden and you vote for a lot of other democrat okay it is ridiculous this is why i say to people this is why i say that us black people we support our own oppression because we continue to elect people like and have people that are um, in media and black men like Charlemagne and all these people that don't want to check each other Joe Biden should have been checked right then and there, and he should have lost the election. He shouldn't have got the plot. Sure, John Trump might win, whatever you might feel about Donald, but at least it will put notice to the Democrat Party that 
You're not going to treat black people like this. Democrats treat other people fine, just fine. But black, when it comes to black people, treat her like we treat get treated like dirt. Unbelievable. That I never would never ever forgot about that moment. And in the here, and I'm and Larry L is probably the only person I know as far as in the media that's checking Charlemagne. When Charlemagne made that statement, I didn't hear other people. Yeah, people got mad, but it died down. But the fact is that Larry Ader came back and proved a fact and put it like that. Charlemagne was checkmate. He couldn't come back from that. Because it is insulting. It's insulting as a black man to come and have a a, a, a racist um, white person named Joe Biden to come on your show, which has a history of racism and supporting bills that suppress our own people, to come up here on a, on a nationally, nationally black syndicated show. Come up here and say you ain't black. That's right, folks. That's, that's why we support our own oppression. That's exactly why.